Yo, yo, the bit down PG, man. Right now, Glock there with T-Cut on Spill the T, did. Let's go. Hey, this some real shit right here, you did. Hey, pretty guy, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. Heard a lot of rumors, nigga, talk down, I don't give a damn. So in case you didn't know, you're glocked in right now to spill the tea. Yeah. And what I mean, I ain't say locked in, I mean glocked in. Glock and you got man. the Glock chain with the G around the lock. Okay, so let us know the Glock. Yeah. You know, Glock. That, that, that my crew. I've been okay. climbing that same wood some young Glock. I got a tattoo on my arm. Ain't going to never go nowhere. You feel me? They came about, you know, who we on. I probably shouldn't even be saying this on every, but my whole crew had Glock. Like, that's how we told it. So we like, man, we Glock Block. We gonna name ourselves Glock Block. And then we been climbing that ever since we ran with it. Okay, do y'all so, still talk the Glocks around right now? Or that was just like a thing of the past and y'all just still ran with the name? I, like, it it put Corner Shore. It put Corner like, Shore. Oh, it, it'll shit. get there. It'll get right. there. So when you claim Glock, like, how do you say it? Like, if you in a song or if you out somewhere or if y'all see each other, how y'all say your Glock? Y'all be like, yo, Glock, what up? Like, Yeah, what's up, Glock? What's up, Glock? Where you finna go, Glock? Gang, whatever. Hey, What's gang, up, gang? gang yeah. Okay, yeah, so it's basically like saying gang. Y'all saying yeah. block. And hey, that shit fire as fuck. Yeah. Shit. Just lit. I got my homie MSAPG. Let them know where they can find you on social media. Yo, you can follow me on Instagram at PG101. You can follow me on Twitter at Transcetter PG. You can find me everywhere, every music platform at MSAPG. I'm going crazy. I got a new single coming out April 1st called Rumors. Stay tuned. Okay, it's lit. It's lit. So check this out, though. MSAPG. Break it down. What does everything mean? Uh, MSA. That's like. That's more like my my LLC, like my label. Okay. It, it stands for Money Seeking Association. It's the people around me, like okay. my family. It's more like. It's really like a family, but we we on the on the business side, like with the music. Like I got we got we got other artists like my brother Ken Glock. We going crazy. He coming out with a mixtape soon. You feel like we working hard. We in the studio every day. We trying to get where we need to be. And PG it stands for Prince Glock. You know we the Glocks and none the Prince. Something like that. Okay, okay, something like that, something like that. You gotta claim that title. You the Prince. You gotta claim it. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what's going on when it's time. What side of Atlanta are you from? Cause I heard. I did a little bit of research, and I heard you say in the interview that you was you was originally from the west side, and yeah. you moved to the east side. So, which location specifically in these areas? Like, I'm really from the west side of Atlanta, mm -hmm. but I moved like to to, to Four Seasons, Tomville area, and I've been back okay. and forth my whole life. So, it, like, I got I claim two hoods out here. Like, I got love for both of them. Like, I ain't gonna never change on. Them. Okay, it must be two sides. Okay, <laughs> shit. So. I'm from the east side, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Ellenwood, so I want to know which side is the best side. Is it the east side or the west side? Uh, I, can, I can't even tell you what side the best because I get I get the same love from both sides, but I can tell you I learned more on the east side. Hey, Feeling yeah. Because like, I done did a lot of stuff, been around a lot of people, met new people, all type of stuff. You got the single Rumors that is out right now okay so peep game rumors let us know we can kind of tell by the title what the song gonna be about but let us know the inspiration behind rumors uh, i made rumors about like since i started rapping it been my life been crazy my life changed the whole lot like i, I ain't been seeing out of out people i used to hang with i be mm. hearing crazy comments when i go places and i just wanted to get it out there like let people hear like let people know what's really going on you feel me like it's all facts Okay, what's like the craziest rumor that you done heard about yourself? Oh, um, they said I signed a deal for five thousand dollars. Five thousand? I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> that shit crazy. We can know your music. I got put on to Overrated, which you dropped late last year, twenty eighteen. So I know you got Schooly as one of the features on Overrated. So tell us a little bit about that project and how it's following into the new project you got coming. I had to put that project out because I ain't having no music out. I feel like I ain't having no music out. So I, I felt like I need to put my music out with the wall. And school is my brother. Like everybody who on that tape, I can call their phone right now. Like they like my family, like in the street to this day. But I really know these folks. Like, so how you form family ties with Schooly? Um, this, this before before I even told him I was rapping. Like I always seen school. He always came around my people. Uh, you feel me? Like then when he found that I was rapping, he told me like, bro, we need to get in there. Like. And when I get in there, we gonna fight, you feel me? Like, oh shit, now he came yeah, with like your he head. Came, he came in and bit me like that, like, bro, you always in the studio, why we ain't got in there yet? So I'm like, shit, pull up. One day I called him, like, pull up. And we did like two songs. We shot a video like the nail mm. weed and we went crazy. And to tell you the truth, when I said, when I changed my Instagram name to PG101, I actually got that name from Schooly. Okay, He said oh. it in one of our songs. Hey man, he shout out to Schooly, man, for like, real. Shout out to Schooly for that. Like, he said it in one of our tracks, and when he said that, 
people be eating it up to to this day. Like when they see me, they be like PG one on one. You feel me? So I be like, oh, I gotta change my name. They like they're hard. Yeah. We it's, got we got new shit on the way too. Oh, bet it's lit. Hey, I saw that joint you got coming with little. You got with little key. Yeah, yeah, little key, Yo. my man. We we got we got a lot of tracks. We might drop an EP. Okay, little key it. going up right now. So you said y'all think you. about it. How'd you link up with little key? Um, from the street, like you just know, real recognize real. Like he, he was from, he was always from a different side. I'm from a different side, but you know, like we saw each other in the club one night and we dealt each other hands, and it was like it been real low ever since then. He called me, I called him, he checked me, I checked him, all that. Okay. Anybody else um that we should know about that you've been working with or that you've been knowing on the scene? You've been cool uh, with? I I want to give a shout out to um Young Mall, Corner Cash, Euro Got It, um. Real recognize real Rio, Johnny Cinco. Those are just some people who who gave me features out of love, like who just who fought, who came to fuck me out of love. That's real. My boy J Five, I can't forget J Five. My man, he working hard. Stay tuned, he on the way. He gonna be on my next project. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's it's a, it's a lot of names I can name right now. I I got more shit on the way too. It's okay. On the way. Okay, we ain't gonna spill all the tea. We just gonna get a little bit of sip of it right now. Since I'm the voice of the Indies, I really fuck with like artist development, and I help artists. You know what I'm saying? Grow that fan base or market themselves or perform and all of that. So I know you said people can vibe with your lyrics and what you be saying. How did you actually physically get them to listen to your music? How did you get people to bump your music? Uh, I I re I made a song right. My, my little homie Red, he had on died on the dirt bike. I made a track and I put it on Instagram. And I didn't even know we were going to do what it did, but it went crazy on Instagram. And somehow the song ended up getting leaked, but it got like 52K views. So I was like, I'm going to put a mid-tape out. Like, they want to hear what I got to say, you feel me? And I, I put a mid-tape out, my first mid-tape. I ain't promoted like that, mm -hmm. but I put it out just to let people hear me. Then people like, what, what new music get? You always hit me up. What new music get? What new music get? What new music Like how they be in the comments yeah. like, yo, when you dropping? To this day, when you dropping? When you dropping? When you dropping? My first mid-tap, I didn't even do nothing like that's, mm. that. That's why I don't even know how people people just gave me the law like, that I never thought I'd get. Was so, it like because you very notable in your hood? Like a lot of people yeah, know I, about I, you? I, I really got the hood law first. When I got the hood law, that's when it, it's, it's kind of expanded. Like my first, my first, our first video we shot was an in-studio clip. But it got like 700,000 views on YouTube. Mm. Like it went that crazy. Damn. So I just been trying to work my move ever since then. You feel me? Like, keep my face out there. And I like what you're doing as far as, like, you got everybody behind you, but you taking it and then you making it into something positive, yeah, okay? Sure. And That's I know, you know what I'm saying, you got all these hoods. Is there anything that you're doing to give back to the hoods or anything that you want to do to give back to the collective as a whole? Oh, oh when it's time to give back, I'm going to give back. I just, I just went on my moment right now. I'm working my move, staying humble. Trying to get to the top where I need to be at. It seemed like it seemed like PG is here to stay. And you about to go on the road. So if you had a tour bus and you had to bring three artists with you, who would be on that bus with you? Uh, I got to say Schooly. I got to bring my man Johnny Cinco and Lil Key. Oh, okay. And the reason why? Because out of all people, though, was the first people out of all people who ever showed me love, like whoever. Like reached out to me, post my shit on their page, wanted to get in there with me, were ready to put something out with me. Damn, that's love that all of them so, been all of them been reaching out to you since before you, you know what I'm saying, yeah, been on the scene. Before I even got caught a buzz or anything, they still called me to this day, hit me up. Okay. So I've been peeping your Instagram and it seems like you have a very cult following. Like your followers are real in tune with like your journey. They use your hashtag, you know, they wonder when yeah, you drop for it. Sure, for like sure. how did you grow that? Organic, you know what I'm saying? How'd you grow that organic community or fan base? Uh, actually, I guess my, I guess people can relate to my music so much. Like, like a lot of people tell me, like, oh, I felt that boy when when PG said this, when PG said that, oh, I felt that. Like, people look at me as a as a real artist now. At first, I didn't move like an artist. I was still on the street shit, like still out here, like. But now I move like a real artist, like. Got to. You got a lot of hashtags that you be posting when you be in your pictures, you be in your comments, you know what I'm saying? When you be interacting with people, like what's some sure. of the hashtags? Like one of my hashtags is trendsetter. Okay. Because I I always been the one who set trends. Like okay. it seemed like whatever I do, people wanna do. Like I change my name to trendsetter PG, not everybody's name, trendsetter. What else you got everybody doing? Trendsetter set. I got it. I got everybody doing everything, man. It's it's crazy. Like, you gotta you gotta know me to know what everybody doing after me though. Okay. Like, you feel me? Like you go you'll know like he got that from PG. Okay. okay. And then what's some of the things that we can expect from the future from you? 
Uh, you can expect more good music. Just pray for me. Wish me well. No videos coming yet. No tours coming I'm, soon. I, I ain't gonna speak on it yet. Okay, okay. I ain't gonna speak on it yet. Stay tuned. I'm working though. I'm working every day. Literally. I'm working every day. If I ain't in the studio, I'm doing something that got to do with the music. It's no cap. Okay, and then let them know one more time where they can follow you on social media. You can follow me on Instagram at PG101. You can follow me on Twitter at Transetter PG. All right. And thank you all so much for Spill the Tea. This is your favorite cup of tea, and we are out. Make sure you subscribe down below. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. Y'all. PG. Hey, this some real shit right here, you did. Hey, pretty guy, you know what I'm saying? Whoa.